much. Greetings, cousins. How y'all doing? <laughs> Typically, I start by saying I'm Naomi Davis and I come from white gloves and mud. The proud granddaughter of Mississippi sharecroppers who, like seven million others, voted with their feet and moved up south for freedom and economic opportunity. And so that intersectionality that we're talking about is very much in my blood, in my journey, my family story, the future that was seeded is now coming to bloom in my walkable village of West Woodlawn. I was born the day after Emmett Till was murdered. And my mother was raised 13 miles as the crow flies from where that crime took place. And when I lost all of my real estate back a few decades ago, well, yeah, 14 years ago, I landed in a little neighborhood where the rents were cheap. And uh, after I got over my nervous breakdown, I was like looking around and I saw that I was in a very charming place, an historic place. And, um, and the story of the birth of the West Woodlawn Sustainable Square Mile is the story of our work in action, in a place. <clears throat> and when you hear about environmental justice, you want to understand that in its root, in its soul, in its derivation, it's about people in a place. It's not just another program, not just another bread line you can get on. It is about the stories of the heritage and the people and the struggle and the triumph in a place. And I landed in such a place. Uh, and in the seed that was being carried forward was this drive that we were going to really create a new narrative for what it meant to be black in America. We were going to uh, close the racial wealth gap via the new green economy. And we were going to create an increase in household income, and we were going to create an oasis of resilience against the harms of climate crisis right where people lived. And we were going to create, with our eight principles of green village building, <coughs> a whole system solution for the whole system problem common to black communities everywhere. And, uh, and, we, and we have begun that work um, in earnest, in a little neighborhood where the great migration comers that I explained to you settled uh, from 1916 to 1970 are sort of the official years. Uh, that's our theory of change is that by implementing our eight principles of green village building in an arc of time in a walkable village that we would be able to transform and create this vision of self-sustaining black communities everywhere. And that walk to work, walk to shop, walk to learn, walk to play village, where African Americans own the businesses, own the land, and live the conservation lifestyle, like they did not so many years ago when they began coming uh, to points east, west, and midwest. We are a great migration legacy community, and if we could be as tough and as smart, and as hardworking, and as loving, and as creative as our ancestors were, we have a guaranteed triumph. So by implementing the eight principles, uh, we are determined to create a place where we can increase the rate at which neighbor-owned businesses are created and sustained. You can see we're right there on the emerald necklace. University of Chicago, Stone's throw from the emerging Obama Presidential Center uh, in a once flourishing, now devastated community. Vacant lots, um, violence, um, and all kinds of the, uh, the outcomes of the machinations of a racial uh, real estate structure that appraises your properties low, taxes them high, and in other ways similar to that, 
extracts hundreds of millions, billions and trillions over decades from uh, the least of these, our brethren. There's no such thing as why don't we just pull ourselves up from our bootstraps. <laughs> so, yeah, amen. So what we're doing is we're talking about, oops, we're talking about how to, um, we're talking about how to make equity and environment and economic development coexist in the same time and place. We're partnered with the Woodlawn Chamber and we are partnered with a hundred others and we're the proud recipients of the recent uh, $10 million uh, EPA Thriving Communities Award um, for Region 5. I want to thank you for the moment that I had with you today to share a nutshell of who we are and what we do and let you know that the Sustainable Square Mile system is being replicated across the country. Should we come to your neighborhood too? Thank you.